Our entire my devotion this morning as wine or shine. Wine or shine. Genesis 40 verse 23 says, The chief cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. The Message Bible says, The head cupbearer never gave Joseph another thought. He forgot all about him when he was free from prison. You know, after a decade of slavery and imprisonment, Joseph thought he had finally the ticket out of prison when he befriended Pharaoh's chief butler. But the butler forgot about him and Joseph languished in prison for two more years. How awesome or wonderful to have a glimmer of hope that doesn't materialize or that seems delayed in its fulfillment. You know, we are very concerned when we pray for something, when we realize opportunity come and never come. Job opportunity come and never came. Uh, uh, friends has offered to help us but never come when we in need. The Bible doesn't tell us much about Joseph's mood or morale. During those months, Joseph wasn't perfect or sinless, so he must have been troubled by the delay. God, you're supposed to free me. But as we read his story, we come across a sense of his persevering faith. Remember the word, persevering faith. Nothing negative is, a, is said in Scripture about Joseph. And there's no indication that he fell into the trap of self-pity and grumbling. Grumbling. Let me share with you a little bit. Grumbling is a particularly offensive sin before God. The Israelites grumble and murmur and complain every step of the way from Egypt to the Promised Land, incurring God's wrath. You, if you look at the history of, of, uh, of Israel, they forever complain. Everything also they complain. When God saved them, when God provided for them, they are grateful. And then when another problem comes, they complain again and again and again and again. James 5, 9 says, Do not grumble against one another. Jude 16 warns about those who are grumbler and fault finders complainers, they follow their own evil desires. God longs to work within us so we may obtain His high quality of patience, the ability to handle delays with grace and gratitude, not with gripping and grumbling. And this is very important, you and I have to think of. When we go through difficult times in life, when we go to testing in life, and when God seems not to be able to come through or coming through in our lives, you know what happened? We tend to get up and we get uh, uh, despondent and we react by complaining and get upset and voicing it to God. Be careful. You can either whine or shine. Billy Graham says, grumbling, grumbling and gratitude are for the child of God in conflicts. One more time. Grumbling and gratitude are for the child of God a in conflict. So take note of this and be careful. Let's not grumble, but let's learn to praise God. Let's not whine in difficult situations. Let's do shine for Him in our community and in society. Amen. Father, bless the people with a great day and bless them with the with your blessing in the ways beyond their comprehension. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you and have a great day.